the tornado that caused the damage in Newcastle and and more in Oklahoma City has dissipated. It was on the ground for about 45 minutes and began around 3 o'clock Central Time here in Oklahoma. Um, it has dissipated. We do have other tornadoes going on in the state right now, south of Oklahoma City and also northeast of Oklahoma City. Um, but the damage associated with this tornado that we saw in Moore earlier this afternoon is unlike anything we've that I've ever seen before. It's just uh, complete devastation. Um, this has been described as an EF5 um, in strength. Um, just, just explain that for us. Well, we have not officially determined that it was that strength yet. We'll have to, uh, there, there's, we'll have to analyze some of the damage and, and look at some of the things. It's certainly possible that it was that strong. Uh, the EF scale is uh, the enhanced Fujita scale, and we rate tornadoes according to how much damage they produce on a scale from zero to five. Zero is a, a relatively weak tornado. A five, an EF5 tornado would have winds in excess of 200 miles an hour and would reduce well-built homes to nothing but a concrete slab. So uh, we have not officially determined that it was that intensity yet, but the, the damage images that we're seeing certainly would indicate it, it, it's possible. And given the pictures that we've been seeing, and, and, and I know you guys have been seeing over there as well, um, is this one of the most powerful tornadoes that you've come across? It's certainly the most powerful tornado I have ever dealt with in in my 21 years of the weather service. Uh, Central Oklahoma had a very similar tornado on May 3rd of 1999. In fact, some locations that were hit today were also hit by the tornado on May 3rd of 1999. That is held in most areas as the standard for the worst tornado ever to uh, strike this area. Uh, I can't say right now that it's worse than that, but it's at least as bad. This, this is uh, we're we're seeing images on the uh, on our local news coverage here of of the, what appears to be neighborhoods that are just blocks of streets reduced to just nothing, and it, it's just a, a massive amount of damage. Businesses, cars. We don't really even understand the scope of it yet.